Faru Farakhsad was an influential Iranian poet and filmmaker who made a significant contribution to Persian literature and cinema. Her work has been celebrated for its feminist themes and its use of modernist literary techniques, and she is regarded as one of the most important cultural figures of 20th century Iran. Farakhsad was born on January 5, 1935, in Tehran, Iran. She grew up in a middle-class family and had a relatively sheltered childhood, although she did attend a progressive school where she was exposed to Western literature and ideas. Her parents divorced when she was young, and she was raised primarily by her mother, who encouraged her artistic interests. Farakhsad's career as a poet began in the 1950s when she started writing for literary journals in Iran. Her first collection of poems, entitled Asir, The Captive, was published in 1955 and received critical acclaim. The poems in this collection dealt with themes of love, longing, and oppression, and they marked a departure from the traditional forms of Persian poetry that had dominated Iranian literature for centuries. In her subsequent collections, including Divar, The Wall, and Tavalodi Digar, Rebirth, Farakhsad continued to explore these themes, as well as issues related to gender and sexuality. Her poetry was marked by its frank and honest treatment of these subjects, which were often taboo in Iranian society at the time. Her work was also notable for its use of free verse and modernist literary techniques, which broke with the rigid forms and conventions of traditional Persian poetry. Farakhsad's poetry was widely read and admired in Iran, but it also brought her criticism and condemnation from conservative elements in society. Her frank treatment of sexuality and gender roles was seen as scandalous by many, and she was accused of promoting immoral behavior. Nevertheless, Farakhsad continued to write and publish her poetry, and she became an important voice for social change and women's rights in Iran. In addition to her poetry, Farakhsad was also a filmmaker. She began making documentaries in the early 1960s, and her most famous film, Kane Sia Ast, The House is Black, was released in 1963. The film was a documentary about a leper colony in northern Iran, and it was praised for its humanistic approach and its innovative use of sound and imagery. The House is Black is now considered a masterpiece of Iranian cinema and has been influential in the development of documentary filmmaking around the world. Faru Farakhsad faced several challenges and controversies throughout her life, many of which were related to her artistic work and her personal life. One of the main challenges that Farakhsad faced was opposition from conservative elements in Iranian society who disapproved of her poetry and her public persona. Farakhsad's frank treatment of sexuality and her exploration of feminist themes were seen as scandalous by many, and she was accused of promoting immorality and undermining traditional values. Farakhsad also faced censorship of her work, with some of her poems being banned from publication or public performance. In addition to these challenges, Farakhsad's personal life was marked by controversy. She married at a young age, but the marriage was unhappy and ended in divorce. Farakhsad later had a child out of wedlock, which was a taboo in Iranian society at the time. This caused a scandal, and Farakhsad faced criticism and ostracism from some members of her family and community. Farakhsad's career as a filmmaker was also controversial, with some critics accusing her of portraying an unflattering image of Iran to the world. Her documentary The House is Black, which depicted a leper colony in northern Iran, was praised for its humanistic approach, but it also challenged traditional attitudes towards illness and disability in Iranian society. Some critics accused Farakhsad of being too sympathetic towards the lepers and promoting a westernized view of humanitarianism. Despite these challenges and controversies, Farakhsad continued to pursue her artistic work with passion and commitment. 
Her poetry and films remain influential to this day, and she is widely regarded as a pioneering figure in Iranian literature and cinema. Her willingness to challenge social norms and push artistic boundaries has inspired generations of artists and writers in Iran and beyond. There are several aspects of Faru Farakhsad's life and work that are often not discussed in public discourse, particularly in the context of Iranian society. One such aspect is Farakhsad's mental health. While there is little concrete information available on this topic, some biographers and scholars have suggested that Farakhsad may have struggled with depression or other mental health issues throughout her life. This is reflected in some of her poetry, which has been interpreted as expressing feelings of despair and hopelessness. It is worth noting that Farakhsad's legacy continues to be debated and contested in Iran today. While she is widely celebrated as a cultural icon and a feminist trailblazer, some conservative elements in Iranian society still view her work as immoral or subversive. Her poetry and films have been subject to censorship and have been banned in some contexts, and her memory is sometimes invoked as a symbol of resistance against the Iranian government and its policies. Another aspect of Faru Farakhsad's life that is often not discussed is her relationship with religion. Farakhsad was born into a Muslim family and grew up in a conservative religious environment. However, as she became more exposed to Western literature and philosophy, she began to question traditional religious beliefs and adopted a more secular worldview. This shift in her thinking is reflected in her poetry, which often explores themes of existentialism, humanism, and the search for meaning in a seemingly chaotic world. Some scholars have interpreted her work as a critique of traditional religious and moral values, and as an expression of a more individualistic and secular worldview. Another lesser-known aspect of Farakhsad's life is her activism on behalf of women's rights. Farakhsad was a vocal advocate for gender equality and challenged traditional gender roles in Iranian society through her poetry and public statements. She also founded a literary magazine called Javanin, Youth, which aimed to promote young writers and artists, including women. Farakhsad's influence extends far beyond Iran and the Iranian diaspora. Her work has been translated into numerous languages and has inspired writers and artists around the world. In recent years, there has been a growing interest in her life and work among scholars and cultural critics, who see her as a pioneering figure in the history of feminist and avant-garde art. Here are a few of Faru Farakhsad's poems translated into English. The wind will take us to the road. Above the town, that has been white. Since the beginning of our days. To the balcony clouded by bougainvillea. To the dwelling of the happy sun. And to the boulevard of the singing winds. I will plant my hands in the garden. I will grow. I know, I know. And swallows will lay eggs. In the hollow of my ink-stained hands. Let us believe in the beginning of the cold season. In the benediction of the earth, in the sudden advent of a rain. In its quenching the thirst of the earth, in the abstinence of the trees. In the leisure of the nights, in the patient labor of the roots. In the reverence of the seed, in the caressing of the wind. In the abundance of light. Tragically, Farakhsad's career was cut short when she died in a car accident on February 13, 1967, at the age of 32. Her death was a great loss to Iranian literature and culture, but her legacy has endured. Her poetry and films continue to be read and studied in Iran and around the world, and she is remembered as a pioneering figure who challenged the conventions of Iranian society and paved the way for future generations of artists and writers.